Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium.
I think we're good, Shepard. You lead, I'll follow. I'm right here. Just lead the way.
Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. Then the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. What did you find out of order? Who designed that CIC? Putting the Commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? None, sir. Very well. I don't agree with any of this, but your reasons seem 
So, I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I had planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. In a further development in the Eden Prime investigation, the Council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operatives. While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a Council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. Commander Shepard? Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westerman News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? I'm not in the mood, Miss Algelani. People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the Council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's... surprising, Commander. The official line says Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. endangered the entire galaxy when they let the Geth break free. I hope your people are properly contrite, Tally. As the Turians are properly contrite for releasing the Genophage upon the Krogan. You're assuming that sterilizing them was a mistake. Hey, hey! You're the 
shepherd kid. Hey, been a long time, huh? I'm sorry. Do we know each other? Well, I, I guess you don't remember me. Lieutenant Zabaleta? I, I worked with your mother. We served on the carrier Einstein. Well, that was 12, 13 years back, though. You were just a kid then. I didn't see her much that tour. The ship was on patrol most of the time. Hey, call your mom up and ask. She'd remember old Zabaleta. She'd vouch for me. Look, I need a favor. I'm kind of short on money these days. I hate hitting you up for money, but a man's got to eat, right? So, could you spare something? Maybe 20 credits. 20 isn't enough to get you back on your feet, is it? No, no, no. I I'll just get a, a meal. You know. Yeah. It's not a problem. You're a good kid, you know that? Thanks. You ever want to come by and talk, I'll be here. Huh? <laughs> Can't afford a ticket home, right? You ever just sit and watch people? You can learn a lot. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded hu- Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Busy, though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the ward. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate.
Delighted welcome you. So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. I only hope you're better than the one they're sending you after. I'll do everything I can to stop Saren. Hmm. That's what worries me. Was there something you wanted? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Commander Shepard. I am Nasana Dantius. I'm glad you're here. I must talk to you about my sister Dahlia. She's been kidnapped by slavers. Dahlia's dead, Nasana, and I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. It could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. I heard what happened under the Artemis Tau Cluster. The Council wasn't too happy about the destruction of those Prothean ruins. This isn't a game, Ambassador. Shepard's out there trying to stop Saren from destroying the galaxy. I know, I know. Just try to be a little more careful. The Council's watching you, and we all get judged on how you behave. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly. But you're the one who can stop, Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside... I should go. I'll be here if you need me. My first CSEC posting was here on the Presidium. Mostly for show. Not much crime over here. No, I'm Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? You send a recon team out into the Artemis Tau Cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. 
placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Not too many people have free access to the tower. Even less get permission to meet the Council. We've tried to create organic environments back on the flotilla, but we lack the space for anything as grand as this. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Feast's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, is there anything you needed? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Yes, Commander, is there something You're a doctor. I can... How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. You're a doctor. How did you... My... I chose to... Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. <laughs> It's a bank statement. It shows that I bought something from you, and when I bought it. Well, thank you for buying from me, but this still doesn't prove that you purchased that item from my store. But I didn't buy anything else here. How do I know? You don't have proof of purchase. There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. Hey, can I get your picture? 
I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you, and I'll have your picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's fame. Oh, you will be. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left too. Sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. You know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Goodbye. Enjoy your time here at Flux.
away. I'm not interested in talking. Go away. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. Say? Push it off. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the. That was odd. What was he trying to tell us? I guess we'd better go find out. Sec, hooking you up. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. You always see a few civilians hanging around the academy waiting to speak. Okay, Julie. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorman, he's threatened you. Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... 
I can't really get... Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Wasn't that the Salarian who asked us to scam the Keepers? The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorban these days. Well, good luck! Hello, Commander. Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Chalik. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? As part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? You're a smart guy, Chelik. Figure out another way. I do have several contingencies. She's just my option A. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander.
Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorvan. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You... spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, Imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? If it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X-Mods? Show them the merchandise. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. I'm taking you in, Jax. It's a sting! Bastard set us up! The hell are you playing at? Sorry, Jax. This is the end for you. Stupid ass army boy. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X-Mods? Show them the merchandise. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. A few of my people have visited here on their pilgrimage, but their descriptions of the wards hardly do them justice. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, 
he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Jellic. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. I appreciate your help. It shows a lot of integrity. You didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna go. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. I love this place. The crowds, the action. It's great. If you feel lucky, we should visit the casino over in the rocks.
Do you ever regret leaving Citadel security to pursue Seren, Garrus? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. I'm pleased that the imminent destruction of all organic life has improved your career opportunities. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Computer, give me a real-time connection to the Dreadnought Kilimanjaro. I want to speak to my mother, Exo Shepard. Shepard speak? Oh, hi. I don't have time for a personal call right now. I'm on duty. I know what that's like. Do you remember a Lieutenant Zavaleta from the Einstein? Ernesto? Have you heard from him? He was one of the Marines who guarded the CIC. We shared a watch. I lost track of him after there was an incident. I've seen him here on the Citadel. Looks like he's had some hard times. I don't doubt it. You remember the Batarian raid on Mindwar in 2170? You were in high school. The Einstein's task group responded to the May Day. The Batarians were still pulling out when the Marines hit groundside. Sabaleta was one of the first down. He... he was never quite the same after. I don't understand. What happened down there? About every abomination that a sentient being can do to another. To a slaver, a person is just another animal. And humans aren't always liked out here. We heard about corralling. Culling. They'd shoot those they couldn't use, implant control devices in the skulls of those they could, without anesthetic. He has post-traumatic stress because of what he saw? He tried to keep working, but it rode him. He showed up drunk on duty more and more. We couldn't always cover for him. The Alliance discharged him. Everyone knew he drank because of what he'd seen down there, even if he never talked about it. Especially because he never talked about it. For it to have affected him that deeply, he must have been a very sensitive man. He was. Always in laughter and tears. If you see him, tell him we still worry about him. Tell him to go to the Veterans Affairs office. I have to go. But take care of yourself. You're making us proud. Kilimanjaro out. Commander, something you need? I have to go. All right, see you. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers at
poison and armor is awfully limited, Tally. Couldn't you wear something without a helmet? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. So your people are forever wandering, and now they couldn't settle if they wanted to. I'm sorry. What do you say we head down to Cora's Den after Shanna? Hey, back again, huh? I don't suppose you got any credits to spare. I spoke to my mother. She told me about what happened on Mindwar. Oh, did she? I wonder. People tie like prize hogs, locked in cages, clawing and screaming as they're loaded into cargo pods. And we couldn't reach them. The Batarian defenses had us pinned. Dozens died trying to advance. All we could do was watch as they hauled people away. I've been looking for 13 years for something to make that sight go away. What have you got, huh? I'm not going to give you money to drink yourself to death. You need to stop this. If you don't have a better option, just give me 20 credits. A good bottle of whiskey. Enough to stop the dreams. My mother said to go to the Veterans Affairs Office. You're not the only one who's seen that brand of hell. They can help. The VAO? God! <sighs> All right. If she wants me to go talk to someone, fine, I'll do it. For her. She always stuck up for me. <laughs> she always was naive. All the VAO does is pump you full of chemicals. If she wants to talk, tell her she can reach me through the Citadel VAO. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. Attracting unwanted attention, Tally. Several passerbys were staring at you. Many think less of Quarians for traveling in the flotilla and for creating the Geth. They see us as scavengers, little better than thieves. It is natural for people to dislike rootless wanderers. If Quarians would just settle another homeworld, we would not run into such concerns. to tell me what my husband would want. I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. This baby is the only thing I have left of Jake. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby too. Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, 
and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? One in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. Of course it is! I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Sarah? You're very blunt, Shepard. And you're right. But Rex has already told you far more than I know about this. I am sorry, but I have nothing else to offer. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. A shadow broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? but they've got the perfect setup. 
Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is, without a doubt, the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single strong community. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the Presidium. Human, this one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent... Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Commander. Oh, this. To me. This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a program or a VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Can't we resolve this peacefully? How can you say that to this thing? You know it will turn on us. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape, but if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. 
If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. Got a moment? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures, but their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. You're obviously with them. Why don't I just arrest you instead? Arrested for what? You and I are simply having a conversation. I have excellent legal representation. Arresting me would be a waste of your time. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership's soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> 